Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 350th episode of Potty Talk Live. Hey there, I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, along with my beautiful co-host, the lovely Laura, where we're talking the business of plumbing, how to build a million dollar plumbing business while having a life too. And that's what we're doing right now, the freedom lifestyle. All right, we're on the MVP retreat here. And so we're having a great time. We've all gathered here. These are MD peers, all right, mm-hmm. private clients of ours. Uh-huh. And we've gathered together to talk a little uh, life and a little business and enjoy some life Absolutely. and uh, even do some business together here. A little so, bit. A little bit. A little bit. But we're having Most a great, a great hey, time nice. here. So we, we, took a little, we took a little U-turn here. Mm-hmm. I know we put out there we were supposed to talk about how to make more money with your plumbing business. Right. Nah, we don't need that. Okay. Mm-hmm. But why we have our plumbing business is the freedom lifestyle. Woo! <laughs> All right, so we thought we'd talk about that, okay? What it means to have the freedom lifestyle. Because mm-hmm. that's what we're really all about here at Million Dollar Plumber. Absolutely. Okay, of course we want to build, you know, a, a million dollar, multi-million dollar plumbing business, mm-hmm. all right? But that's not what it's all about, okay? Not, not just the plumbing business, okay? Ultimately, it's, it's creating this, this life that you truly desire for you and your family, okay? Which we call the freedom lifestyle. Ty, yes, we wish you were here yeah, as well. Hi. Where Hello. are you? Everybody miss Tyler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, we don't have to worry about getting kicked out of this place. Yeah. <laughs> but we're, we're here in beautiful southwest Florida. The sun is setting here on the Gulf. Okay, so hopefully we still have some sun here. Sun here you can see us. But the sun is going down. Joseph Bates in person. And he's okay, right okay, over okay, there. Okay. <laughs> all right. But we've gathered from all over. Where, where are we all from? We got, well, Joseph is over. He's going back. He's Minnesota. Minnesota's. Mm-hmm. All right. And his better other. All right. Mm-hmm. We, have, we have more Minnesotans. In fact, they're, they're congregating together. Yes, all right. Minnesotans are together. Okay. Yes. Wait, we come far as Washington State. All right. Right here. All right. Utah. Yep. Utah, man. Missouri, Show me state. all right, mm-hmm. Texas, Texas, Jersey. Jersey, the Jersey boys are representing, more Michigan, right, Boston, all right, come from all over the place here, we're all here, wish you were here as well, and you can if you're a million dollar plumber client, plumber client. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's good to have you here, all right, good to have you here, Jacob. Yes. All right. Okay. So, so what are you going to do here, Million Dollar Plumber? Well, we took it. This is kind of a last, hey, last, Chris. last second thing here. Mm-hmm. Hey, Chris. We look forward to seeing you again soon, too, man. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, what, what does it mean about the freedom lifestyle? Right. And what does that mean? So yes. since we had these cats here, look, if you're, if you're um, a first-time viewer or, or if you've been, been watching and, you know, you're starting out in the plumbing business and, and you're trying to make things happen. and. Hey, Robert. You know, these guys have all been been there as well. Yes. Okay. So I thought since started why out the started out in the truck, mm-hmm. all right, a job that they own, um, just trying to make it week to week. Okay. Um, and uh, now are not taking vacations. Not taking vacations. In fact, what do we have? We have some, don't we have a couple here that's like their first vacation yes. like ever. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh-huh. Okay. Absolutely that's right mm-hmm. and so they've all been where where you're at okay so i thought it would take a, you know advantage of this opportunity yes okay mm-hmm. while we have it here mm-hmm. and just and just get some input Absolutely. from those that are you yeah. know are where where you may be as well yes. okay live from sarasota on anniversary hey you're right uh, on the corner all right, right. <laughs> that's crazy yeah we're, we're here in um longboat key yes so okay we're right around the corner from you yep longboat mm-hmm. key yeah. which happens to be right right near where we live as well mm-hmm. okay yep. And it's beautiful here. We had a beautiful day. We went jet skiing today, mm-hmm. jet skiing and boating. Mm-hmm. All oh, right. Yes. So if we all look a little red in the face, you know, I think I'm turning purple. I mean, I can't, You're you know. So brown. <laughs> all right. But we had a great day out. Mm-hmm. Spent a little time out also at the Tiki, the Tiki, tiki bar. bar. All right. We are on vacation. Uh, we are. This is vacation. All right. The freedom lifestyle. All right. Uh-huh. So okay. I'm going to bring some up here. Right. Sure. Okay. We make this work. Okay. And just get some input on what what it means, you know, what they thought the freedom lifestyle was, mm-hmm. or how they look at it when they would start in their plumbing business, uh-huh. and then go from there. All right. Okay. Let's do it. So who are we going to pick on first? Uh, I right. think Bo and Kimberly. They're right here. Come on up, guys. Bo and Kimberly, introduce yourselves. 
we're Bo and Kimberly McKenzie from um, up in Washington State. We uh, have the I-5 corridor full-speed plumbing, and uh, this is my wife, Kimberly, and uh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Bobby, Bahama. Okay, so what was it like when you guys were starting out with your plumbing business? What you, Did you even have any idea, like the same lifestyle or think about that? What was it like? Well, there were spots, but uh, they weren't happening, that's uh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. There was yeah. zero freedom. There yeah. were, it was so much work. Yeah. Nights, Night weekends, day. constant. Yeah. Just, you never stopped thinking about it. Yeah. Never. Never right. get away from it. Mm -hmm. Ever. Yeah. yeah. It just was your life. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. We, yeah. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you envision that that's what you thought it was always going to be? Or did you have any other kind of vision what you hoped it would be? I sure hoped that it would not continue to be that, but yeah. but uh, there, I did I did not know the way out of it for sure. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was uh, getting stuck kind of in the in the hamster wheel, and couldn't get out of it. Yeah. But what was what was your turning moment? Turning moment as far as when we saw that we needed to change things was actually it yeah. started uh, creating real damage inside our family, inside our marriage, and uh, and oh. we knew something had to change, and uh, didn't know exactly what, but some something had to change. So we really started doing homework and, and researching and actually came up with this podcast and uh, and started listening to them. And and uh, and I I messaged Kimberly. I'm like, you got to listen to this to this podcast. And she actually did. And uh, and uh, she started listening to and, and then, uh, there came a day and she says, I scheduled a meeting with them. And I was like, oh, OK. And uh, and so, yeah. Here we are. And here you are. Yeah, here we are. And we're enjoying yeah. life together. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. All right. Well, and we'll have more fun tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah. All right. There we go. All right. Thinking of uh, when we started out, I'm going to pick on Delme. We're bringing Delme's up here. I want to hear what this guy's thinking because this guy thought I was full of crap. Same, same, same thing. The wife kind of caught on to things. But what did you think of? Of all this, when you first when well, I first started, yeah, honestly, yeah, <laughs> no, I want you to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, uh, what's this guy? He's a sales guy. Yeah, he's trying to get me. He's trying to get me overcharge people. He's trying to get me to take advantage. You know, because you get all this crap in your head, right? Right. And uh, I wasn't all about it. But Sarah, Sarah, she always dealt with the money, and she said, "No, man, this is what we got charged. This is what we got to do." And she actually listened to Potty Talk before I did. Um, we used to joke around that. When I was still in the truck, plumbing, she's like, man, someday you're going to be a million dollar plumber. In your career, you're going to make a million dollars throughout your entire career, maybe 20 years, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so we were joking around, and then she looked up, the million dollar plumber ran into you. And she started watching Potty Talk. You can see those first few episodes um, back in uh, 2020, February 2020. And Sarah would write in the comment section. Remember that? I recognize the name. I've and it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be me. <laughs> Because I wasn't a part, I wasn't a part yet. I didn't believe in it. And, and just through, you know, kind of being humble through different experiences, you get to see the beauty of it all. So, so starting, what did you think? Well, you kind of hit on it, but when you got started your plumbing business, did you think it was going to be, like, take 20 years? I mean, this, this grind of, I mean, is that how you envisioned your life, or do you have a different vision? I, I thought I was going to be grinding away, a lot like my dad. My dad still... He's a landscaper. He's still in the truck every day, slinging stone. We did retaining walls and patios and decks. And he was pretty meticulous. At what he and that's how I grew up in the trade. I, I thought I was going to do the same thing with plumbing. And to have things switch so quick and, and to be, well, it was really because we were open to learning. Because mm -hmm. I, I knew how to be a tradesman. I didn't know how to be a business guy. I didn't know how to think about business. I didn't know that there was actually any equations to it. I thought it was time and material, right? Yeah. <laughs> on the material right yeah. well what I, I like what you mentioned about being open because we, we say all the time um and you know i appreciate the nice things you know everyone's even said why they've been here about you know we appreciate what you've taught us and that kind of a thing and you've done this for us and this and that but really laura and i believe you know that really it's the 20 percent of what we teach you you know but it's 80 percent you guys doing it and being all in and you guys do the work you made it happen you know and that was it's been fun watching these guys because when they did start when this guy did agree to, you know to get involved he was all in so it was like you know buy the truck I said, buy the truck bought, bought the truck i mean like you bought two trucks that's right three trucks <laughs> you know did all the rebrand just <laughs> all in and literally a year later well i love your story because you guys were like they spent their like last fifteen hundred dollars 
They have four kids, four little ones at home. Two of them are twins, just born. And so they were all in. Or they were writing checks their bodies couldn't cash. You make you know, it sound uh, so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> but today, Mountaineer Plumbing, yeah. you know, is is a big brand name yeah. in the Grand Rapids area. Yeah. And it's a whole nother game. And of course, also, um, Sarah, you founded Plumline. Yeah. All right. So a spinoff of 20... Can you yeah. explain what Plumline is? Yeah, yeah, it's an answering service uh, special for plumbing companies. And our goal is just to book the call and get it into your system so that you guys have more calls to run. Um, and I want to mention, too, it sounds our story sounds crazy, but it would have actually been more of a risk if we wouldn't have done yeah. the system. You know, we would be in a totally different place. So um, sometimes things seem crazy, but no, crazy <laughs> is remaining the same, well, right? They right. seem, they seem so. crazy in 98%. 90%, 98%, they're struggling every single week. Because they're listening to what the other 98% say. Mm -hmm. And then when you find those rare people that they're, they're singing a different tune, and you hear it and you go, that, that actually kind of makes sense. I like this tune. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow up with this melody. And, and, and that's when you start changing your life a little bit. And, and, and I wish, and that's, I think that's the greatest thing about MDP is we're trying to broadcast that message, that mm -hmm. tune, that melody, to, so that it doesn't have to be the 2%. You know, it can be, it can be more. Right. Yeah. Right. So what's your life look like today? I mean, literally, little about a year and a half, two years. We're pushing two years. Yeah, pushing two years. And so, give us a snapshot of what how life looks today versus two years ago. I mean, two years ago we were, you know, paycheck to paycheck, counting pennies, right? And um, I mean, it's pretty unrecognizable. Yeah, definitely. Well, we we had a different home, we had different vehicles. We had some, we call them the Ramsey vehicles, right? Yeah. We had some of those going on. We don't got those anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we have a different house. We have eagles that fly by our house every day, which kind of, you always get to remind us about soaring high. And, and uh, we kind of, we got to pick where we got wanted to live instead of just living where we could afford. Mm -hmm. um, and then we got to do trips like this and hang out with uh, celebs like you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. We've been having a good time. Having a good time. I think the sun got to you a little bit there. No. <laughs> right. Thanks, guys. Uh, All right. Appreciate it. All right. There we go. All right. Hey, who are we going to pick on next? I want the Jordans. There's the, there's the babes. Okay. Come up here, guys. I love love their story. All right. This is the, the babes. Babe Plumbing out of Mankato, Minnesota. Yes, sir. Now, your story kind of, um, you know, you already had, we had Jordan Plumbing, and you, your father, was your father's business, Correct. very successful. I mean, it was already, you got on a track, I mean, a good, successful family business. Right, 40 years. Yep, and uh, good name and all that kind of a thing. Right on. But you had a different vision. Yes. And, and so, you want to, so we do have a lot of, you know, viewers or whatever and followers that, out of that situation, I have a family business, mm -hmm. and then, but they kind of have a different feel. Absolutely. Can you explain kind of how, you know, <laughs> the dynamics? Like, yes. Yes. It was yeah. definitely a struggle for us because obviously we love and respect Jeff's mom and dad and mm -hmm. what they built. But at the same time, Jeff always had a dream of doing that and more. And, you know, treading on that water always felt a little bit uneasy at times. Yeah. But he did have a vision, and, right. um, we're doing things the million dollar plumber way, <laughs> and it's been a life changer. Yes. So when Jeff first started, he always wanted to do more of like the type of program that you had set up, um, but it was always kind of holding us back because we felt like we had to continue doing what his mom and ha dad had done. Mm -hmm. And so it was that balance of trying to figure out like how to actually become profitable and to do the right things, but without like you know, making them feel like what they did was wrong. Right. So it, it, there was that kind of heartfelt um, pain. But I think following yours and Laura's program, you know, it was a no brainer. And they've actually now seen our success and seen all the things that we have made changes and, and how um, just what a blessing that has been on our family. Um, so we can't thank you guys enough for that. But obviously, like we've done the work. But one of the biggest things for us was changing our name. So we were Jordan Plumbing, and we switched to Babe Plumbing. Um, and I feel like that was probably the hardest part for us. But once we made that change, and we made that change into going to fully service, 
um, that was finally when we started to make the moves and and, and feel hmm. like we were successful. So. So how that feel? Because I know we have a lot of conversation. I get a lot of respect for your father yeah. and the business and what what it's provided. Right. And um, and so there, you do have the emotion of changing the name. But on the on the business side of that, what was it like changing the name? Did you see any uh, any drops or? You know, a lot of times fear of losing customers right. or losing our place in the community. What right. was your experience? Yeah, I, every it's been um, very well received. Actually, um, all of our existing customers are most of them at least are uh, excited for us. They want to hear more about why we changed the name. And, um, when you start explaining it, to them, then you can kind of talk about your business a little bit more and, and what we're doing, where we're going. And, um, it's just all around been a good thing, and it's growing. Um, and it's just been an amazing, amazing journey. Yeah. So how, how's it changed your life? So what's your snapshot been from when you started, you know, and made these changes to now? Uh, well, Jeff and I have always had a, a very strong relationship, um, but money can obviously create a lot of stress, and we were definitely paycheck to paycheck. Um, definitely felt the stress of, um, where is the money going to come from? Like Jeff would honestly take the earnings that he would make off of one job and then use it to make, you know, paycheck, paycheck or job to job. <laughs> job to job. You ever been there? I've been there. So, right. right? Yeah. yeah. Now we're here. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, going from that lifestyle of like, okay, how are we going to pay for the garbage disposal or the water heater to be able to install it at Mrs. Jones' home? I mean, there was a lot of stress there um, to now where, you know, we can afford to take our kids on vacations and, Spend time with you guys and our business is now running without us there even and just putting all of those things into place is just mind-blowing honestly so there's a lot of pride that goes into that so For you're sure. so you're here yes. enjoying time with with friends Absolutely. we all become all becomes friends while i imagine bay plumbing was working today Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Did you, did you even check in on Bay Plumbing? <laughs> yeah. Just at the end of the day, and, um, we saw we had a great day. All right. Yeah. It's been a All right. The, the shop didn't burn up or <laughs> it didn't burn up. No. no. Everybody no. didn't quit. <laughs> no. All right. Yeah. The win. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. And if anything, like normally, like our guys are in communication with us a lot, and you know we put the pieces in place to like allow us to be able to step away and for things to, yeah, do what they need to do. So, it's amazing. So let me get this straight. They were back there making money, which is a good thing. And we were spending time on the boat today together. Correct. Yes. All right, listening to the music and just How does that enjoying work? the the weather. Right. Right in the water. Yes. Huh. Being with the most amazing people right. and um, enjoying just the company of tons of smart business owners like yourself yeah, and ideas. And, yes. Um, yeah. So do you think yeah. that was possible? You know, two years ago. No. Absolutely. To, to have that kind <laughs> Not, of. But nope, that wasn't even, even in our sights. Not even thought. Yeah. Honestly, like, Jeff and I have went on more vacations in the, the last year and a half than we have the entire time we've been married. And we'll be married 17 years this year. So right. I can think of, of that. It all started with joining the Success Academy um, and Absolutely. then moving up another step to personal coaching. Um, yeah. We owe it all to you guys. Yes. Oh. Uh, the systems are amazing. Well, I appreciate yes. you saying that. Uh, but you guys true. did the work. <laughs> you guys did the work. Yes. You pushed us in the right direction. Yes, yes for well, sure. You guys are doing great. Uh, thank Thanks. you. Oh, I love you. love spending time together. Yes. And we have more Same. fun tomorrow. Absolutely. All right. Yes. All right. Yes. Thanks, guys. Yes. Thanks, Thanks for having right. you. Okay. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> All right. Who are we going to pick on next? All right. Let me see here. Oh, I need some Jersey boys. Let's get some Jersey boys up here. And Aaron, don't you get too comfortable. I want to. All right, this is this is Jersey Jersey Boys Plumbing, outside of Philadelphia. That's right. That's right. All right. That's there we right. go. Right outside of Philadelphia. All right, you guys having a good time? Fantastic. Well, I love I love their story. A couple things happen happening here. First of all, um, you were already successful. You already had a good thing going on. You mm -hmm. know, um, construction, that kind of a thing. Right. Right. Many years. Yep. Right. All right. So you've been doing this for years. Yeah, twenty-seven years. Ago. And this guy already had stuff going on, and uh, but you decided at some point something was missing or you wanted to make a change. What was that? Yeah, it's, um, well, well, the bank account was staying the same. 
I was working <laughs> you know, four or five years and you can make all this money and you can turn around and the bank account's still the same. So I knew I knew I had to do something. So I was looking looking for a while and uh, in fact I was actually following you guys for about a year, year and a half, until I finally pulled the trigger and I was pissing everything. Yeah. Well, absolutely. What was it about I mean you're already you're already successful. Uh, you mentioned the well, bank account, but what was it that just said, "Okay, this makes sense to me." This this well, way of thinking. Well, when you say successful, I'm not. I mean, <laughs> hey, you were going business right, for right, twenty. That's right. that's successful. Yeah. So, absolutely. well, the systems, pretty much. You yeah. know, you know, I didn't have any systems. I, I just, I come from, I worked for my uncle for ten plus years, and that's all I ever knew, really. Yeah. You know I mean, so then I went out on my own. I work for myself for this will be 17 years for myself. And you know, you go ups and downs. You have ups and downs. I had a business partner for what well, we had about eight, ten years. Yeah, like, and you were successful. I mean, you were successful. Yeah, we, you we, did it on your own. We did you were, some. We did you were some doing good, but yeah, you were right. searching. You were looking yeah. for more. Well, you know, yeah. I, I just knew there was something out there. I knew I wasn't doing everything the right way. And when I was following you, I was following Potty Talk Live, and. I knew this is, I said, you know, I, I have this thing from where we're from. I said, ah, this is the internet. These internet guys. Try to <laughs> right. Everybody's out to get you. That, <laughs> that joker. Yeah. And, and that's right. His teeth are too white. Right. Or, what's up with his beard? What, what kind of beard is that? And this, is, this is a real beard here, right? That's, that's why it took me about a year or a year and change to, to pull the trigger. Because I finally said, let, let, let me just give it a try. And yeah, but you felt so, it. You knew. As soon as I, as soon as I. I turned on the uh, Success Academy. That was it. I was there. It. And it was, it's the, it's just really how organized you are, how organized the Success Academy is, the modules, the systems, you build it out. Just like you say, you have to do one step, next step, next step. You can't do everything at once. And that's it. That's exactly it. On. And then he pulled me in. And, then, yeah. <laughs> and, that and that's, it. that's the other cool thing here. So Val here. You had another career. I mean, you, you're an educator. Absolutely, I was a teacher right. for 17 years. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, at what point? Now, they are a powerful, what we call uh, PPC, plumbing power couple, and they are very powerful together. But what what made you want to, you know, switch and come into the, the business? Well, when Bobby started talking to me about it, I thought to myself, Could I really do this? Could I really leave? I went to college, I trained all those years, I was a successful teacher, I had a great rapport with my students. But for me, I always thought that there was more for me, and I just didn't quite know what it was, and I thought that there was something that I would, I would be even better at, and there was something I'd be more successful at. And I would always say to him, you know, I, there's more for me, there's more for me, but I don't know what it is, and I can't quite figure it out. And so when he approached me with this idea of leaving and resigning and growing the business together as a couple, and I was like, Hmm, this could be it. This could be the more. This could be something that I could be really good at and something I could really do. And it was just, you know, my trust in him. And I just knew that he knows. And I just trust him so much. And then I just started coming on and following you guys and watching all. And I was like, that's it. I'm in. I'm, I'm, yeah. Let me and it was good. Quick, yeah. She, about a year or so before that, had said, babe, think I could, I want, and, I, and I'm, I was always conditioned. No, you got to. We need the benefits. We need the pension. Yeah. yeah. And as soon as I start going through the modules and talking with you and the, the private coaching, change it out, and I see everything clearly. And yeah, and I literally would wake up every single day and be like, oh, I don't want to go today. I don't want to yeah. go today. Why do I have to right. go? Right. Do I have to go? And that it wasn't like that in the beginning of my career. You know, I really enjoyed what I was doing, but something was missing for me. Yeah, I mean, you should do, like, uh, lesson plans on Sunday nights. For I worked around hours. the clock. I mean, I like, worked around the clock, but not for myself. Right. So what's it? Myself. So what's it like working together now? A lot of times awesome. we hear, you know, I can't work with my, I couldn't work with my wife, awesome. or I can work, I can work with my husband. <laughs> it's awesome. I love it. It's yeah. awesome. It's a great feeling, and it's a safe feeling because you're always together, and you just have that, um, that trust in each other, and you're succeeding together. And it's like you wake up in the morning instead of saying, "Oh, I don't feel like going. I don't want to do it." I wake up and say, "What are we going to do today? Let's get it. Let's go get it. Like, how, how's this day going to go?" So, and it's, and it's together and we're together. So it's yep. great. I love it. I love everything yeah. about it. <laughs> uh, well, we love these guys. Lovely Laura and I love these guys. We love all these guys. My hoops, my Jersey hoops. Hold on. And we love the Jersey boys. All right, guys. Thank, Thank you. Hey.
right. we'll have more fun together tomorrow. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. All right. Hey, there is. I saw that, you know, great stories here. And this could be your story as well. And, you know, if you're looking, I have, if you're here, I have something free for you. Okay, free. There's no, no hooks. Okay. All right. Um, it's my million dollar plumber blueprint. All right. Where I lay out the specs that we're talking about that you can build your million dollar plumbing business and have a life too. Okay. And again, it's free to you. Simply type free in the comments or go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash free to grab your free copy. So there you go. All right. Hey, who are we going to bring up here next? I'm going to pick on here next. Mr. Aaron, come up here. All right, this is Bahama Breeze. We call him the Breeze, all right? Bahama Plumbing, all right, out of Texas. Okay, your, your partners, I think, I think they're on here watching. Uh, I've right. seen Bobby off and on. All right, but you came down here on your own. All right, they hanging out. All right, jet skiing today. I'm glad to, to see that you didn't uh, sink the, the jet ski. Okay, I know you were a little scared getting no, out there. No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. All right, all right. Some other guys here that, that have been successful, you know, doing some other things. But what was it that, um, you know, what was your turning point of saying, oh, I'm, I need something different, or I want to do something different? In the last week, or when I started plumbing? When you, well, when you started, you know, what made you want to go from you know, doing what you were doing to I was tired of what working you're doing for a, a, somebody, a company who didn't care. Yeah. And when we started, we wanted to bring more uh, care and let the guys. So, for instance, I just had two guys off last week. Well, yeah. you adjust the schedule. When you're working somewhere else, they only allow you to have a certain group of guys off. Yep. A certain amount. So, all right. You adjust so the schedule and move on. So that's what you wanted to do with doing your own yeah. thing. Want to have more, more control. freedom. Yep. Uh, the guys that come work have more freedom. Okay. All right. So how's it work? You have a little unique. Your situation is a little unique in that you have a couple partners. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. How how is that affecting? Um, what advice do you have for those that do have um, someone other than their their lovely other? That they're partners with, and communicating and working with those. What what advice do you have to give? It's hard, but it's all about communicating, and you all have to be on the same page. If one of us start veering down the off the wrong street, then it kind of puts everything out of whack. Yeah. So if we're all on the same, if we're all running on all cylinders and everything's going great, then everything's working. But as soon as something gets a little off track and one of us wants mm -hmm. to go through this other way then it kind of messes it all up. And then we all have to dial back down and I'll get back on the same page or not same page, but the same street, the same street, right on, right on. So what, um, you're kind of in the mid this, you're a great example for those. Um, you know, you're not out of the, the woods yet. You're, you're in the middle of adding these systems, learning this new stuff, writing checks that your body can't quite cash. You know, you're, you're in the, you're in the, the weeds of it. What advice do you have? For those that are in that same spot right now as well <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard to do but just do it we're, we're kind of learning that this last uh, week uh, we've been trying to do something a couple things and they haven't been working because we were trying to let the money accumulate well when you start to let the money accumulate you got to spend it somewhere else so uh, if you write the check now, you have no choice but to come up with it. So uh, you just have to just do it. That was a power. That was a powerful thing you just said. Well, let's repeat that about it. Come with me. It didn't come for me. <laughs> <laughs> but you're doing if it. You, okay. Yeah. So if you keep trying to let the money accumulate to get it done, it's never going to happen because something comes up. So you wait for that perfect. You wait for the perfect time. Right. Yeah. But the, the time's never perfect. No. When we found that out, the last what three four five months yes. so uh we've learned in the last two weeks that we have to write the check and when you write the check you have no choice but to come up with the money right so you find a way to get it done yeah and you're still here right bahama plumbing is still here okay yeah. because even it's, it's growing it's well, growing I'm watching right now he says i am the other i'm the lovely other Bobby, Bob, Bobby's the lovely other. Let's don't read it in. All right, man. Hey, thanks for being so transparent. Come on. All right, man. We're going to have more fun tomorrow. All right. There we go. All right. They're a lot of fun. Hey, listen to that. I mean, that's an important, important point there. 
you know, part of this is we see, you know, 95% of all plumbing businesses fail. And it's uh, not, they don't fail because they're not good plumbers and that kind of a thing. All right. Um, it's because they don't know, you know, the right systems in place. They don't have the right blueprint. All right. For the business blueprint. Um, but also it's that ability to keep on keeping on. Okay. All right. Um, Richard, let's see your dedication to a cannonball for us. I'm not that, I'm not that dedicated to a cannonball. <laughs> a lot of people are asking for a cannonball. For a cannonball. Yeah, right. We're going to end the show that way, doing a cannonball into the pool. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not that gullible. All right. Hey, I want to, we got time here. I want to bring bring one more uh, PPC up. What? Oh. Oh yeah. Let's bring Matt and Tiffany. Come on. We'll go around. All right. And Boston, don't get too comfortable back there. I see you guys relaxing. You're gonna be up. Matt and Tiffany. All right. Hey, hey, hey. thanks for coming up. It's Matt right. and Tiffany told me with um, Castwood Plumbing out of St. Louis, Missouri. That's right. So. How's it going? It's going great. First time we've ever been able to go on vacation since we own the business. It's just been unbelievable. Okay, so you're you're you were here today. You were out in the boat with us today, having a good time, getting a lot of sun. A lot, a lot of sun. All right, there's a lot of sun <laughs> here. Sun. All right, no, the sun's going down. I can see here we get we get a little darker. All right. Yeah. Right on the camera here because the sun is going down. It's setting here, but it's a beautiful so, sunset. So it was a beautiful sunset. So you were here today. Uh huh. And Castlewood Plumbing survived. Uh, they survived. They made money. They, and they made money too. <laughs> All right, the place didn't burn down. Didn't burn down without us. All right. So what can you give? You've just gone through the whole rebranding and that kind of thing as well. All right. And you're kind of you know you're still in the weeds coming out. Man, you've had a couple, you had a couple tough months. Mm -hmm. You know, right. things whatever. What what advice do you have? To, to those that are maybe watching in a similar situation. The uh, rebranding is excellent. It's just, it's, it's, it's like being born again. I mean, you just, uh, the trucks are beautiful. People see them, people ask questions, people want to come see you, you know, and we've only been rebranded for a couple months. I mean, so we haven't even seen the, the true aspects of it yet. But it's scary. It's really scary yeah. because you're writing checks for things and you're going, where's the money in the bank? There's no money in the bank. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. So we're just going to go ahead and write this check because it's going to do what we need it to do. And you just have to have faith and push Believe forward it. and it will happen. It just, it's scary to get there. Thank you for saying that because that is the, that is the thing. We are scared. It is a, it is, you know, we, we don't have this in the MDP brochure when we're marketing. <laughs> <laughs> we don't mention that it is scary. But it is scary at one point because you're, you're putting all these systems in place and we're writing checks that our bodies aren't quite sure we can cash. And there's no return on these things right out of the Not gate. Immediately. But as you say, it's good debt. Well, but it's scary debt. It is. It is. Okay. Or scary that we could be so in debt that we may not come out. Right. But here we are here today. And we're in Florida. Right? Yeah. And the, the company is running. It is moving forward. Like you made money today. Yeah. All right, and you're coming out of things. Right. Yep. All right. Can you see? Can you see the light at the end of the tunnel? Oh, there's a big light back there. I just got to get to it. I got. That's so good. Thank you, Tiffany, uh, for being so transparent and honest with that, because that is that is so real. All right. We're glad you guys are here. Well, thank you. And we're looking forward to having more fun tomorrow. We will. There'll probably be some more sun. Okay. So do we have enough um, sunscreen? Yeah, we got a case. We sir. may have to stop. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, All right. <laughs> there we go. All right. I'm glad that she was so transparent because that is a real thing, the, the fear, okay? And we all go through that. Um, but we got to keep on keeping on. In fact, you know, we have a phrase we talk about um, being comfortable, being uncomfortable. uncomfortable, right? Okay? So you, you got you to gotta be comfortable being uncomfortable, okay? And get back up and keep on coming on. All right. Hey, one more. Do we have? Oh, Faith. Oh, Joe and Melissa, I'm sorry. How could I forget the base? This is another great, I love this story here too. Because Joe, I want, I want you to introduce your lovely other and Yeah, that's my wife, Melissa. All right? Yeah. But you're, um, you know, Northern Air, all right, plumbing out of, and they are Northern. There's a reason why they call it Northern Air, because it is Northern Cold Air oh, yeah. out of Northern Minnesota. <laughs> yep. But you... 
I love your story too because you already were successful. I mean, you already had a you know successful business going, okay, and doing some things. What what was your you know, what was your turning points or epiphany or whatever that said, I want to go in a different direction? What, what was that? Yeah, I, I think we had finally got to a point where, you know, you're, you just think, you, you, I knew there had to be more to everything that we were doing, turning, you know, putting in the work, putting in the hours, but you could only get to a certain level. And it was like, I can't work any more hours. I can't even I didn't think at the time I can't charge any more money so it's just you just I just kind of got to a point where it's on a treadmill and we just weren't getting anywhere so are you charging um, more money oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> in fact didn't you just raise your prices again we did yeah all right yeah all right and I've already done it again and we just have to implement it in the price book. so on that because I know you know you um we always have these conversations you know my community this is what won't take this this is what everyone else is doing you know right and we kind of had that conversation yeah what was your emotion going from what you were charging to i i you know right off the bat i figured we would just completely lose everything and we wouldn't have any customers and we would lose it all but um what's the reality what happened well i mean the reality is in in one instance with one of our services even i mean we went from, we, we like more than tripled our price on one of our services and lost 30% of our customers and made 30% more <laughs> than, we, than we were making before. So we had lost all of these customers, but yet made more money with less customers. Huh. Uh, as a, just as a, and, and it wasn't that we were trying to just get more money. We just, it wasn't sustainable at the price that we were charging. So, so now we're charging the price that we need to charge to, to perform that service and to be able to keep performing that service. And the customers that we're performing that service for, they appreciate it even more. So, so what's the, so what's the, the snapshot from going from where you were to where you are now? How, how are things, how do things look? Is there more money? Oh, there's more, more. There's more money. There's the cash is there. We're able to. It, we're able to invest into the business easier now, because we know that we're we what we're charging is is actually what we need to do what we're doing. And uh, yeah, it was scary, but now we're more confident than ever that we're actually able to provide even a better service because yeah. we're getting what we need to be able to provide that service. So. All right. Listen, you're lining your head. Did you feel that way when you first started, when you started doing these changes? How, how did you feel? I thought it was awesome because he had such a hard time knowing what to charge. And so to have something that he could say, this is our honest hourly rate, was so freeing for him. He was able to say, okay, this is actually what I need to get paid in order to do this service. So, yeah, yeah. it was freeing. And what I like about... Well, I like about all the guys. I want to make, um, but but Joe, you're um, you're you're an analytical guy. So in our <laughs> sessions, I, I be honest, there's you and one other one of one of my, my clients, John. I won't say his last. <laughs> I love I love these guys, but I always leave these sessions a little wore out <laughs> because I'm not a you know, you know I just I just throw it out there. Let's go. Let's do it. But. But Joe, you're a guy that's analytical. You you put your numbers in place. You know you got your ducks in a row. You dot your eyes. You cross your T's. Okay, that kind of a thing. And so you already came from a space very organized. You had a feel for what why you were charging. You had a reasoning for why you were charging what you were charging. So how did it did the honest hourly rate calculator did it? How did it change your way of looking at things or thinking about things? Well, it, it completely helped me to realize that I really didn't know what it cost to actually run the business and to grow and expand and, and to maintain. So having the honest hourly rate opened my eyes to the actual true cost of the business. Mm -hmm. And it actually, in, in one of the things that I think that I appreciate about you is it helped me to realize there's a value to what 
we do. Mm-hmm. And that, that I have value as a plumbing company, as a business owner, as a plumber. And it just created a sense of pride and confidence. And um, it, it really just brought out, I think, what it should be like to, to run a business. Uh, and to know that, yeah, we are providing a good service. And we do appreciate our customers and we do value their time and, and it's reflected in what we charge. Now, that's what I love about you and your business. Cause I know you really have a heart and I know the others do too, but you've expressed your heart. You really have a heart for your community and, you know, for your customers and you're not looking to rip anybody off or take advantage, you know, that, right. that kind of a thing, but charging what you need to charge makes it possible for you truly to take care of your customers and your community in a way that you want to do that. Absolutely. And to still be around. Yeah. <laughs> you <Yeah>. know, <laughs> exactly. And, and it, it, we talk about the freedom lifestyle, you know, yeah, it's building yeah. that, that, you know, that uh, profitable plumbing business, but then to also have a life, right? Yeah. Where the job doesn't own you, you own right. the job. And you can provide that life for your employees. Right. And your children too, eventually. Right. Yeah. Love it. Oh, guys, thank you. Yeah, thank thanks, you for man. being here and enjoying spending you. time together. Yeah. All right. We're going to have more fun tomorrow. All right. More sun. <laughs> more All right. sun. Sunscreen. <laughs> yes. All right. There we go. Well, they mentioned the Honest Hourly Rate Calculator, and that is a, that is a big part of um, what we call the Success Academy. In fact, you learn that in Module 1 of the Success Academy, and we call it the Honest Hourly Rate because you're not being honest if you, if you don't know why you're charging what you're charging. And it's coming from a guy that really is, you know, is a numbers guy. And he had great, great reasoning, and he, he, could, he logically was able to put out why he was charging what he was charging. But he just, as he admitted to, I didn't realize I wasn't charging for everything I need to in the business. So it's a very important key. All right, one more here. Stick with it. we got some light here. Thanks for the lights, guys. Boston. Come on, guys. This is my, my son. And daughter, they get their good looks from my side of the family. Hello. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> All right. Hey, introduce yourself. I know they've seen you before. Yeah. All right. But maybe not uh, Thais. Hi, guys. Right. This is my queen. Yes. Thais, and I'm Danny. And uh, We're out of Boston. We own uh, yeah. New Era Plumbing and HVAC. All right. And they're knocking it out of the park, doing, a, doing great things. All right. But it wasn't always like that. In fact, uh, you've shared and a more recent Potty Talk Live, yep. you know, we use as an example because it's a great example of these two. They are truly a, a plumbing power couple. Um, they won't die. <laughs> There's no quit, but they, they keep on keeping on. So what can you share along those kind of lines? You know, Danny, for you, what was a turning point of, you know, what you were doing, how you looked at your plumbing business to how you look at it today? So what I look at before it is is a long story, but I'll keep it short. Um, when I look at before, I was just looking at the money base. I wasn't finding happiness. I want to take over the competition. I want to take over my whole area. But now I realize I got to refocus my whys. Mm-hmm. And my whys is my family, and everything just comes together at the end of the day. Like my whys is you always focus on your whys because if you lose that. You're gonna lose everything that what you're doing. And what do you mean by wise? So, like my wise is it's the business. But then my wise is how can I make my family happy? That's one of my wise. My kids, my wife. And, um, so I can focus what I can do to work harder, to push harder, and work smarter. I mean, to provide for them. Mm-hmm. So, and I love that. I've seen you um, develop in so much of a leader. When we first started, and um, I mean, it sounds we want to sound the right way, but you know, Laura and I are really proud of of Danny and both both these two because um, we've really seen how far you've come and everything that you've accomplished. And Thais, what about you? What what's what kept you going through all this? Um, our dreams together. Mm-hmm. That's what really kept me going. It's all in, you know. We're all in together. Yeah. That's, yeah. that, that fuels you, you know. But you both have, we both have to agree to the same plans and be all in together. Uh-huh. Because if we're not together, if she's off, it's not going to work out. And, and if I'm off, that's it. Hey, Bazinga, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Patrick. Yeah, we miss you guys. All right. So, so Thais, what, 
what um, you know, words of advice you have to the, the ladies out there that are working on you know their plumbing business, or maybe they're not even in business together yet. Mm -hmm. but, um, if if you have built a life with your husband, um, building a company is investing in your future because it's not about just the planning. It, it's about the, the dreams that you have together and the goals you have together. And doing it together is the power that is yeah. in it. Yeah. Love it. And, and how you can do that as well is like, we have to focus on ourselves. We have to find a personal growth. She needs to find hers. And then we're going to do a marriage course together. Because if our relationship is not good. It's not perfect. The, but the, we can fight for it. Exactly. Yes. So we oh. want to grow our marriage. And once a marriage grows, the business is going to grow. Everything just happens. Right I don't, on. Know, I don't know how to explain it, but it just does. <laughs> You're right. It just, just, just does. That's how the math works. Yeah. Oh, guys, thank you uh, for being so You're transparent welcome. and for being here. Having a good time. We have a good time again tomorrow. Oh, yeah. All right. It's the freedom lifestyle that you yep. have created for us. You and my mom, Laura. All right. <laughs> Thanks for saying so. We love you guys, love too. You guys. All right. All right. Sweetheart, you want to come in? We'll wrap things up. All Thanks, right. guys. Mm -hmm. All right. Everybody can see what's behind us. <laughs> right. All right. We got to hold up the lights here for us. Thanks, guys. You know, I love, I love that. Um, you know, a lot of times we get asked, what's, what's our agenda? And, um, you know, it's, it's in, you know, we want to help you build a million dollar plumbing business, but we want you to have a life too. And really what our agenda is, is what you hear that and what we love seeing in the, in the couples here. And, and we've experienced this. It doesn't matter how big your business gets or how much money you make, but if this, this relationship right here isn't working well, it don't matter. And the other stuff, the money's just going to disappear um, because I don't, know, I don't know how the math works either, but when this is working well, um, it seems the business will start, it works well, okay? If this isn't working well, all of a sudden the business starts crashing, okay? Mm -hmm. So that, that is our agenda, and I love, love hearing that. And that's what we love sharing today. You know, we love seeing the, the couples together and just uh, we're, we're playing, you know, having a good time. Yes, we talk a little bit of business, mm -hmm. um, but we're enjoying life together, and that's really what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Good job, okay. babe. All right. Hey, we yeah, made it through. We, we made, I really <laughs> wish everybody could see this okay. new studio lighting. That we got. All right. I like the studio lighting. Teamwork makes the Perfect dream work. work. Yeah. All right. Hey, I'll leave you with this. On, on the business side of things, we've mentioned it, the Success Academy. Okay. You know, really, if you're looking to grow a million-dollar plumbing business and, and, and have a life, too, this, you know, this kind of life, we call it the Freedom Lifestyle. Not just own a job, okay, um, that a job owns you, all right, but, but to have a powerful asset that, that creates the life that you desire, you know, for you and your family, as well as, as serving your employees and, and your community and, and everything that, you know, you like to do there as well, all right. You want to check out the Success Academy. It's all laid out there for you. We kind of mentioned a couple of things here. Mm -hmm. um, you can check it out for free, 14-day free trial. Simply type success in the comments mm -hmm. or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash success to grab your 14-day free trial. So there we go. All right, it's great. Hey, guys, thank you for being with yes, us all here. Yes, all right, say goodbye, goodbye to everyone. Hey, before we let you go, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So as always, plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to Potty Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the million-dollar plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now and join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.